Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. This is the ocean. It's mysterious, it's dark, it's adventurous, and it holds a lot of history. The ocean has always been a very special place for me. Uh, I was very fortunate that I, when I grew up, uh, my parents, they worked on ships. So I joined them. So from I was born to I was about six years old, I think my mother once said I visited more than 40 countries. So I really thank them from the bottom of my heart for giving me the opportunity to see and experience the world in that way. And it all happened through the waterways, through the ocean, and through the incredible movement of the uh, planet's most important asset, water. But also it taught me what I am today. I think I owe them a lot regarding how to see the world and also how to really discover the world. And to be able to discover history and share history in a manner that I do as a history hunter, that is a true privilege and honor. And I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, supporting us. And I have to say, it's all about one thing. It's about sharing history in a very special way. And what I'm going to show you today is going to prove that, that we're going to do something really special in the near future. And it's all about the history down there. You know, being that little boy out there on the oceans with my parents, I always asked myself, what is down there? But it was several thousand meters of water between me, the surface and the bottom, and I could never figure that out. So when I got older, my parents told me about what could be down there. Pirates, gold, there could be vessels from the pirates, there could be freight vessels, steamers, submarines, huge uh, battleships. It is all possible. But for me, it was all about one thing, it was about being able to go down here and see for myself. And as I grew older, I served my time doing uh, being a sonar operator on a submarine. And then I just kind of took that a bit further. I educated myself to become a diving instructor. That was cool, but I wanted to do more. And today we are doing history hunting together. And we do that both on the surface, we do it in the ground, and we do it together here in the deep of the ocean. And now it's time to reveal what the future will be because I want to be able to get stuff up from the ocean floor and you are going to help me, but we need some great tools to do that and you will definitely see what we have up in store for you next. So let's go back to the History Hunter cave and we'll show you something really cool and we can't wait to share the images of the future of that. Yes, back in the cave, and we're going to continue this little saga here today. You see us find different items and artifacts all over the place. You have seen scenes like this many, many times. This is pretty cool. And they're in good condition because, look at that, that is sand. That is not soil, it's sand. So, oh my goodness, there are hundreds of cartridges here, look at that. This is typical eagle eyes to find these sniper shields or artillery shields that is can you lift there let's pull them out careful careful yeah but doing it in the water is something completely different you can find basically the same items but also you can find items that are not magnetic that you can't find with a metal detector or things like that bottles ceramics all kinds of uh, things maybe aluminum pieces from the aircraft Maybe even a whole submarine, who knows? But the thing is, going down into the water is completely different and you need a completely new set of tools. And to go around down there and find artifacts or find history, well, we have tried it all. We have tried dipping down cameras, we tried to drag cameras under the boat or kind of just go down there. But the easiest way is actually to use one of the underwater ROVs that are available for everybody like us. So we have tried going down with uh, several um, of these ROVs during the years and now 
we are going to do something completely different. There's one thing missing on all of these ROVs that I've been really, really eager to see if they could come up with, and now they have. So let's take a look at that. The other day, the future came to us, and the future brought something pretty, pretty amazing to us. And there's one thing missing using all the other ROVs, and that is the possibility to actually go down and grab pieces and get them up to the surface. But it seems like Santa Claus has been very kind to us and our community really, really takes advantage of people noticing what we do. Our team members, all our supporters, you are the people who makes this come true. And now we have someone who wants to help us out to find even more history. And let me show you what that is. Ta-da! This is going to be one heck of a new tool for us. This is the Firefish V6S underwater exploring tool. And I can't wait to show you the possibilities that this thing is going to give us. I'm going to go down there, open up a little bit more, down and grab. Just for your info, I'm not being paid to do this. No one is paying us to do this. We have been allowed to take advantage and use this unit. So that's what we're going to do. In here is the media change. This is the huge new improvement of the five fish and underwater exploring. This is a electronic grabber, which is going to be placed on the brand new five fish V6S. This is a omnidirectional underwater ROV, has a hundred meter depth capacity, can do incredible things. You can see my other videos with the V6. Got a 4K camera, excellent LEDs. And here is the new port for connecting up different kinds of tools. And in our um, way, it's gonna be the grabber. And this thing here is absolutely incredible. And now I can't wait. I want to assemble that little grabber in the front. So let's do just that. If you're familiar with my shell, you can see that this original V6 Five Fish ROV is just absolutely phenomenal. It's done some incredible discoveries and you can check them out. Just see the uh, section of the Underwater Explorers. You can find the videos of that unit uh, in action. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, the Five Fish V6S is actually supposed to be even better. It is also omnidirectional, can have lots of different kind of modes to run it in. It has a much higher capacity battery. The thrusters, whatever you could call them, engines are revised. There's a better kind of electronic solution of how it works. It still has the 4K camera in front. It has the LEDs. It has all kinds of different things that's gonna happen later that you can attach to the bottom cable to connect it there. And I can't wait to see how this will perform out there in the field. And if this one does the job even better than V6, well, I think we are into some beautiful new adventures together. Also, I'm gonna to put together this thing here now. I want to see that go me, me. Can't wait for that. And we have some fantastic plans with this feature that we're gonna execute, hopefully in the very, very near future. But let me go ahead now and assemble this little arm by the instructions, they are very good. And I can actually very easily sort out what is what, and that is a trademark of QYC, absolutely high quality, and it really works as it should do. So let's put this together and see if we can make that go wee, wee. Instruction completed, and boom. Look at that. So if you see the front of that one, there's no jaw. There is the jaw of the future. Holy cow. Let's see if we can crank up the thing and make that thing work. Hey, 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 look at that. I cranked it up. Very, very simple. I love the instructions, they are so simple. What you do, you download, you go to QYC, you download their Firefish app. When you downloaded the app, you allow it into the Wi-Fi thing. 
and then you let the uh, Wi-Fi be connected. You connect the uh, cable to the ROV. This is a tether roll, so the only thing you have to do, you take this end, connect it into the ROV, you connect the other one into there, and then you fire up the, uh, the uh, controller, and then you have the uh, control of everything. And you can release this one, and then you know it's working. But now, I am very, very excited. And I'm hoping that I'm going to show you this for the very, very first time. This is going to be really, really exciting. I have my hand ready on that little button and I can't wait to hear that sound. Are you ready? Let's try it out. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is that sound. Oh my. Look at that thing. <laughs> wow, it's so simple. You can see here, you take that button here, open, close, open, close. Oh, I could do this all day. Wow, what an amazing little feature of the new V6S. As I said, the Firefish V6 is an absolutely incredible tool for anyone who wants to do something underwater. Then they improve it, increase the battery capacity. This thing I could run for at least two and a half, three hours and never ran out of power. But now you have an even larger battery and improvements all over the, the area or the, 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 the ROV. So that is absolutely incredible. But now I'm gonna do something. Let's see if we can actually grab something from the Second World War and let's see if we can actually hold on to it. All right, we are at a German trash pile next outside some barrack areas. We discovered a little beer bottle that is probably marked underneath with a date. Let's say 1943. We are coming in from the right with our ROV, the Firefish V6S, and we want to see if we can grab that bottle. So what we need to do is to open up that claw. We're gonna come in like that oh my goodness this is exciting all right so it actually grabbed it oh my good lord look at that that is incredible and now suddenly we have something completely new going on i'm gonna yeah it kind of self holds it it will probably not be that tight. Yeah, it is really tight, actually. But that will be more than enough to get that bottle up. Wow. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. All right, this time the ROV is closing in on a 20 millimeter cartridge. We found that in a very, very small lake next to the place where the Germans had a huge 20 millimeter flak position so we are down in a freshwater lake we are going to open up the claw and we want that cartridge so badly we're going to come in like that we have the view of the grabber there let's see if we can do that through that view we are closing in the uh there we go is it attached is it attached yeah, this is absolutely 100% real situation, and I know exactly where we're going to go to do that later. But boy, oh boy, this is going to change the work that we do really, really nice. Holy Madonna. That is what I wanted to show you, and I am so super excited that we have this option now. And uh, if the uh, V6S is even better than this thing here, well, then we are going to have a fantastic time out there. And, ooh, look at that. What is that? Oh my goodness, that looks like something scary. Round, circular, huge thing. Oh my goodness, did we discover something interesting here now? 
there you go that little cartridge is kind of like a symbol of what we want to do in the future here we've been very very blessed to create some fantastic underwater explorers already with the v6 you have to look into those videos to see what we discovered and the future is absolutely fantastic bright we are going to find positions and items left and right and we are going to share them with all of you fantastic people out there in our global museum history will be everywhere absolutely for sure watch my videos in the beginning of each month you can see that we give away many of the items that we find to our supporters so check those videos out and you'll definitely find out more about that um what can i say this five fish v6s um that sound wow that is the future that is very promising and i have to say very glad to see that qyc has put this thing together and stepped it up even a notch and well it seems to work perfect so we're going to install some um, truster protectors and some details of that and then it's going to be out to do some rehearsals practice with it and what we're going to do is that we're actually going to use this module here we're going to teach Eli's and uh, Bunker Buster Golds to run this module here and it's actually going to record this doing some work so if we're lucky we can have some GoPro cameras with the GoPro mounts that the QYC supports with and we can have some incredible images down from the deep at the projects that we go to we do the research we do the hard work we go out and travel and find locations we drag up the stuff and we share it with you so please consider supporting our work you can find links to the patreon and paypal thing in the video description and in that way we can do even more great material for you to enjoy but now i have to say i can't wait to go out and uh, test this new model and uh, we will meet you out there in the first little objective that i think you're going to enjoy there will be some heavy duty surprises coming up i can promise you that and uh, if we're lucky we'll share some incredible incredible moments with you out there so please subscribe share comment um, watch the videos in full length that supports us please check out the uh, qyc link in the video description for more details of the v6 five fish i think you're going to enjoy all the uh, features that that machine has and for us it's been an absolutely wonderful experience to have the qyc taking interest in what we do our little community is well noticed out there and this is a proof of that work hard and people will see what you do and they will support you and as i said i'm not being paid to do anything of this it's not a commercial this is my real honest opinion and people out there appreciate it so much that it will actually let us have this to play with and uh, learn from so we'll gladly take that opportunity any day so We'll meet you out there in the next Underwater Explorer. Stay safe, keep smiling, and bye-bye.